Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, let's take a look at the business service layer part of the TOGAF workshop, the System Architect TOGAF workshop. So um, the, um, the business service layer, we looked at this in um, some of the previous slides. Business service uh, provides um, a layer to um, the business architecture. Uh, business service can be a manual service, could be a, an automated service and um, it provides a governed interface to access functions of the business. Uh, it can be implemented by an information system service or an application uh, according to the TOGAF meta model and, and remember that information system service which is kind of like a SOA service is something that is optional um, to model. It comes with the services extension. So we've turned that off in this workshop and we're going to directly relate business services to application components. Um, so reference models, we talked about uh, reference models and how you can use them so that you're not reinventing the wheel. A lot of organizations need to understand what services they really have in the organization, how to categorize them, what functions they provide. And so one of the things that we've seen our field people at IBM use a lot is the FEA, the U.S. Federal Enterprise Architecture Service Reference Model. Um, even though it's made for the U.S. federal government, um, it is being used by commercial um, organizations in different industries because um, what the U.S. federal government does is just about everything, right? The uh, U.S. Forestry Service does all kinds of stuff. You go to a um, um, a, a U.S. federal forest, for example, and you are maybe buying things from the store. You are um, there's all kinds of things that, that services provided just by the Forest Service, let alone IRS, let alone all the other civilian agencies, FAA, etc. So, um, what we have seen um, our services people do is use the um, the reference architecture. Um, and import it into a, an EA repository or an encyclopedia and system architect parlance and then you know understand it and say well yes these are some of the services that we use those aren't so let's get rid of those and then add services that the organization does have and, and modify it in that way so um, the SRM service reference model is part of the consolidated reference model which also has um, technology and business reference model and, and performance reference model of the um, the FEA reference models available on the US uh, White House.gov website it has its own meta model which is a little different than the TOGAF meta model in this lab what we've done is um, modify the SRM so that it is business service containing other business services containing other business services the SRM has a different hierarchy of definition types uh, but we're utilizing it in, the, in this lab um, and so yeah, best practice um, import the SRM the enterprise architect uh, can delete business services not used in the organization then also add services that are um, used and um, use it to jump start the EA effort uh, and I mentioned here this slide talks about how we adjusted the meta model so that it's it's uh, adjusted towards towards um, uh, TOGAF where it's a business service containing other business services and so with that said um, you can take lab four which is to import this modified version of the um, FEA reference uh, model for services and you're importing it as an XML file. So previously in the labs you, you've imported through CSV and now you're importing XML uh, where we modified the meta model and, and, and brought in the services into a different encyclopedia then spit it out as a system architect XML now you're importing it into this encyclopedia and that's just a, the workshop showing you different ways that you have to import information customize the meta model, import information into System Architect. Also we did BPMN import before. Um, and then what we're doing here is we're in the workshop you're adding a business service to the architecture. Um, and so that's part of the um, the lab. Alright, so with that said, go ahead and, and take lab four.